How do y'all on YouTube? This is Cross Politic, Pastor Toby, Chuck Knox. I'm the water boy. It is good to be with you guys no on this here. Monday. Pat, no, Pastor Toby's not here, but he's here. Yeah. Um, so we had, uh, for the show tonight, we have coming on, we had Douglas uh, Faro, Professor Far- Faro, excuse me, out of, out of Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he wrote a book called Nation of Bastards. Uh, and, and he wrote a bu- apparently a bunch of other books. I'm just learning about him. And there, there's a lot of depth to this dude. You need to read Nation of Bastards. And apparently, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a must read. He wrote that yeah, back absolutely. in 2007, 2008 when Canada was going through basically Obergefell, what we went through. And he's told us, he's like, mm-hmm. America is right on our hill. You know what's something he said that's really, I'm sorry, didn't no, mean to interrupt. Keep going. Yes, no, actually, no. yes, I did. Um, he said something was really interesting. So he said he wrote a book in 2007, yep. which we know, but then... He said in the book that America, if they're not careful, they're going to follow right after us and everything that we're going through. Yeah. And somehow in America, we tend to think that Canada is following us. Yeah. But Canada is not following us. We're actually following them in a lot of ways, particularly yeah. in this. So Burgerfield happens and everything he said in the book, A Nation of Bastard Essays on the End of Marriage, we did. Mm-hmm. We went mm-hmm. headlong yep. into that world, acted just yep. like Canada. Yep. And... Here we are. Here's one of the things that he said that that was so basic and so simple, but I think it explains a lot of what's going on in our culture right now. We've been saying for a long time on our show, it's like, I don't know how we can have conversations with like AOC and some of these liberals anymore. Um, and he and and this kind of make connected the dots for me. He said to have meaningful conversations, we we need to both sides of that conversation need to be in principle, uh, need to be seeking truth, like real truth. Mm. And, and, and so I think you, when you see a society that is breaking down and a polarization that is, we're more polarized than we ever have been before, sure. but that's, that's coming from a desire where they're, they aren't, both sides aren't really seeking truth. To be honest, even a lot of Republicans aren't really seeking truth. Yeah. And so you have this huge breakdown, and this is Matt Walsh's documentary. You know, he goes and uh, sits down with a professor at uh, University of Tennessee, I believe, or University of Van- yeah. Vanderbilt. Yeah. And he asked the professor, what is truth? And the professor's response was, well, you're triggering me by asking that question. Yeah. And right. there, there's, no, there's no desire of seeking of truth together in that conversation. And that's why I think our nation did well for a while, or at least was cordial for a while, because there was, even though we we're seeking different truths, there was at least a desire to have a conversation to seek truth. Well, yeah. So... I always, when I think about this question, I always think about the person that was on the opposite side of Matt Walsh, that professor. I actually think that professor understood the question in a way that Matt Walsh didn't. The professor understood that question as, who is your God? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? And he's like, ooh, we just went there. Uh-huh. And Matt Walsh, so then he springs it back on Matt Walsh. Well, what, who is your God? And Matt Walsh wasn't willing to. Yeah. This guy eventually. I think you give that professor too much credit. That's not what I see. No, there. but that's what's being asked. And the professor yeah. understands that he's asking. Yeah. He's like, that's why the professor launched immediately into a defensive mode. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. I'm uncomfortable with your question because yeah. it sounds like you're being transphobic. Yeah. Why is he being transphobic? Because he's asking him, what standard is it that you're basing yeah. your worldview on? Yeah. And he's like, well, what standard is it you're basing your worldview on? Because uh-huh. it sounds like that you don't like trans people. Yeah. He, he made the jump. Yep. Quick, yep. and here's Matt Walsh over here saying, "Hey, man, we don't want to make we don't want to make that jump. Yeah. I just want to the truth that has that we're sitting yeah. in this, you know, this this uh-huh. the, the neutral the truth. reality that's going on in this room. <laughs> yeah, and but here's the deal, like, yep. and here's something that we have to talk about more and more as Christians is that if we don't argue, okay, God is the one who made the world. He mm-hmm. spoke it into existence. Mm-hmm. This is his world. Everything operates with his law. He gave two laws. He gave the general revelation, which is his word, right, in Mm -hmm. creation Mm -hmm. that was made by his word. And then he gave the specific or special revelation that was written by his finger. Okay. Those two things have dire consequences for disobeying and for rejecting. Right. And yet when it comes time to talk about nature and creation, we always freeze up like if it isn't God's. Right. When it's got his thumbprint all over it. Mm -hmm. And so, and then we want to come to some neutral conversation that they can, Mm -hmm. and I'm saying to myself, like, there's no neutral conversation. No. Mm -mm. And here's what we don't talk about as Christians. And we need to talk about as Christians. Christianity 
allows for us to have a civil conversation that's right in disagreement yep. and and for uh, for you to have a place in the world mm -hmm. but it limits your sin to be able to proclaim itself yep. right yeah. so you don't get to have gay pride parades yep. that is horribly wrong in uh -huh. so many ways to society yep. right it's horribly wrong to creation the general revelation mm -hmm. and to the special revelation yep. mm -hmm. but yet there's still a place for you here mm -hmm. And and the people who get this mm -hmm. are the people who are having pride parades. Yeah, the people who are out here are saying, you know what, you don't get to do. Mm -hmm. You don't get to walk out here and not wear the patch. Right. You got to wear the patch. Right. If you don't wear the mm -hmm. patch, yeah. then you aren't part of. Yeah. Right. So so they you're get, hateful. So, so now so you're you, even hateful. <laughs> you're hateful, and yeah. you have to go into the closet. Yep. You have a limited amount of engagement you have in society. Yeah. You can't have a public face, yeah. right? Like they yeah. they get that there's some sort of. Um, societal shame that yeah, should go on somebody right. who does not hold to their worldview, right, right. and we're sitting up here saying, "Well, we don't, we don't mean that." Yeah, of course mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. Of course we do. We, but we're not saying that you don't. You have. We want to kill you, right? Yeah. Like, that's not. That's not what we're saying. Yeah. But we're saying societally, you are limited to engagement because yeah. yeah. sin. This was something we want to say to somebody who is a, a murderer. Listen, yeah. you have murder in your heart. We're not. We're not going to kill you for that. You act mm -hmm. on it. Death penalty. Yeah. Right. Well, this is what Professor Farrell was. He said there is no private morality. But that's that's right. There is, a, but, but and that's why my problem, I guess, with and what I'm trying to say, and some of this with with Walsh's doc is that he's acting as if there is a private morality mm -hmm. in one sense or a neutral morality. Or, well, yeah, neutral, new, yeah, yeah, a neutral morality, uh -huh. a neutral standard, a neutral uh -huh. morality. But the other guy wasn't at all. None uh -huh. of the people they were acting, yeah, neutral in any kind of way. Mm -hmm. But I think we need to. We need to be the kind of people that remind folks that the world is designed a particular type of way. Mm -hmm. And in that particular design, you can be free with limitations, mm -hmm. right? right? We don't, we don't, right. there's limitations. You, you, you just don't get to, yeah. to, and every society has those limitations. Every society, every worldview has a Levitical code. Every society or worldview has mm -hmm. limitations. Mm -hmm. But the problem that I have is not that we have them, is that Christians are shame of them. Right. Mm -hmm. And part of the shame of them is that they know this is like Romans one, Romans mm -hmm. two, Romans one. We were just talking about this. Yeah. It goes through and says, hey, this is what it looks like when humanity has rejected creation, right, right. has rejected God. Right. They go insane in creation. Right. Yep. When the creation chooses not to honor God, the creator, mm -hmm. they go insane. Yep. And so and it goes through and we're like, oh, yeah, Romans one. Yeah. The debauchery, yeah. the homosexuality. Yep. Ab absolutely. And then it comes around in Romans two and it says you who say you shouldn't commit adultery. Do, do you commit adultery? Yep. Right. Are you acting the way that yep. you said was wrong? So all that you amen and that you're doing about Romans one. Yep. You're the problem. Yep. Right. And so the reason why we're ashamed is because we're guilty mm -hmm. and we Christians don't know where to take our guilt to. Yeah, that's right. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we have the, I'm just sitting up here talking. Just keep like, it. Okay. Okay. You just, I know you just, just, we're sitting up here um, and refuse to say, you know what? I've sinned mm -hmm. and I need to repent and model for the world mm -hmm. what it looks like to take your sin to Christ yep. and say, we have been the kind of people mm -hmm. who have planted the seeds in one way or another of the tree that is mm -hmm. homosexuality and debauchery in America, right? I like the last question you asked Professor Farrow is basically, how do we recover? How would you, how would you stop being a nation of bastards and how do we recover? Um, and you're going to have to join the club portal to actually uh, get that get that answer. Just, yeah. I just did that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. This is Cross Baltic on YouTube. Hey, how do you Signing do, off. Have you been enjoying the week, the last two weeks? Yeah, but it's, you, it's has been it broken crazy you doing a show every two day, every day. Has it? Are you broken? I'm not. Yet? I'm not broken. I think. I think I'm starting to get in the groove a little bit. It's still messing with me a little bit, but I think I'm getting there. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for y'all's support. <laughs>